it's Tuesday, May the 5th, Cinco de Mayo. I wonder how many of you out there are going to have a celebration for Cinco de Mayo today. So it's kind of a, seems to be uh, something that a lot of people uh, enjoy doing. I don't know how exciting it's going to be this year, since we can't kind of go out into the public and be around one another too much. So, unfortunately, we'd probably be toned down a little bit, but... Happy Cinco de Mayo to everybody that's celebrating today. Yesterday, May the 4th for Star Wars. Today, Cinco de Mayo. In a couple days, on the 7th, my son Jake is having uh, his 10th birthday. He's pretty excited about that. A lot going on this week. Pretty excited. You know, um, I noticed that the books that I chose for this week uh, have kind of a sports theme. Not all of them, but I noticed I picked three sports-related books, and uh, today I have another one of those sports-related books for us. It's a biography, uh, Day by Day with LeBron James by Ta Tammy Gagne, and I had a couple of requests for a LeBron James book, so when I had the opportunity to go back into the building, I did grab a LeBron James book that I thought everybody might enjoy. It's got some really great photographs in it because it is a non-fiction book. So, of course, it has some features that our fiction books don't normally have. It's got real pictures in it, which is kind of par for the course for a non-fiction book. In the back, I'll show you as when we're reading the book, you'll get to see this further reading. So, if you'd like to look up any of those additional books to read about LeBron James, you can go ahead and do that. And it also has an index in it that we see in nonfiction books. And indexes tell us where specific things within this book are. So I thought, yeah, be, you know, at first when I heard somebody wanted to read a nonfiction, I was like, yeah, I guess we could do that. I don't see why not. I can find a nonfiction book that is uh, still easy to be photographed and we can kind of show on the screen and, and go ahead and do that and, and fill that request. So if you ask for LeBron James, today's your day. Well, let's see what national day it is today. Ooh, besides Cinco de Mayo, of course, we've already kind of hit on that. It's National Cartoonists Day, people that like to draw cartoons. We have a couple kids at school that are really good at that. We, we have had some students that are just really incredible artists. Um, and I, when I see their work, I'm like, I guess I just can't believe it. it's so fantastic. Na oh, it's National Teachers Appreciation Day. Oh, huh. wonderful. I think I will appreciate myself today. That's, that's kind of nice. Mm -hmm. National Hoagie Day, even better than National Teacher Appreciation Day. National Hoagie Day, go out and get a nice big sandwich. That sounds fantastic. National Totally Chipotle Day. Mm. No. <laughs> I don't know why this one seems funny. National Astronaut Day is on May 5th. And there's, what are there, like six astronauts? So <laughs> there's a few people that celebrate that. That's pretty, um, and pretty interesting. National Bike to School Day. That sounds awesome. Of course, we can't do that, but that sounds pretty cool. I didn't know that, man. I never even heard of that one before. And National Beverage Day. A beverage is something that you like to drink, like a nice, big, tall lemonade or an iced tea, or combine those two, have an Arnold Palmer, half iced tea, half lemonade. That sounds pretty good. Wow, a lot of national things today on... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, they made... This is... Nope, today is not National Bike to School Day or National Beverage Day. That's tomorrow. They have them all listed together. I didn't notice that. Okay, scratch that. Well, National Bike Today to, to School Day tomorrow. It's a lot of things. I was going to say, it's a big, long list. So, I'm glad you're with me. Everybody sit back and relax. Let's learn a little bit about King James, LeBron James. See you back here in a bit. LeBron James by Tammy Gagne
If you are a basketball fan, you know the name LeBron James. Standing 6 feet 8 inches tall, LeBron is one of the most admired players in basketball today. He was drafted into the NBA in 2003, right after he graduated from high school. Only a handful of players in history have been given this impressive opportunity at such an early age. After the draft, LeBron signed with the Cleveland Cavaliers as a small forward. Like a power forward, a small forward's job is to score points for the team. Power forwards are usually bigger, but small forwards often handle the ball better. LeBron is known for his lightning-fast speed on the court. Once he gets the ball and moves to score, no one can seem to catch him. His nickname is King James. As a professional basketball player, LeBron must travel all around the United States to play games. He rides with his team members on a private tour bus. LeBron stretches with the help of one of the team's trainers. Smart athletes know that warming up before a game helps prevent injuries. LeBron has one of the highest vertical jumps in the NBA. He can leap 44 inches into the air. He is also known for his long arms, which help him steal the ball and slam dunk it. When he was 20 years old, LeBron became the youngest NBA player to score a total of 1,000 points. By 2010, he was averaging 30 points per game. His team members know they can count on him to get the job done. LeBron has fans from all over the world. He enjoys meeting them and signing autographs whenever he has a spare moment. Some fans fly thousands of miles just to watch him play. He is very grateful for their support. LeBron played alongside Kobe Bryant and Carmelo Anthony on Team USA in the 2008 Olympic Games in Beijing, China. Team USA went undefeated in Beijing, beating Spain in the finals to win the gold medal in men's basketball. LeBron started the James Family Foundation with the help of his mother, Gloria. Sometimes LeBron and Gloria visit elementary schools together and read to the students. LeBron and his James Family Foundation donated more than $200,000 worth of supplies to aid victims of Hurricane Katrina. LeBron helped ship supplies to the areas hit hardest by this devastating 2005 storm. LeBron participates in his own annual charity event, the King for Kids Bikeathon, in his hometown of Akron, Ohio. The event promotes physical fitness while raising thousands of dollars for community programs for young people. LeBron has two children. LeBron James Jr. was born in 2004. Bryce Maximus James was born in 2007. Their mother, Savannah Brinson, and LeBron have dated since high school. The whole family enjoys attending basketball games and cheering for their favorite player. LeBron dunks the ball in an NBA All-Star game. He won the title of All-Star MVP, Most Valuable Player, in 2006 and 2008. LeBron is often interviewed by reporters and sports announcers. They ask him about his career as a professional athlete and about his personal life. One of the things he has told them is that throughout all his success, he has continued to be himself. Maybe I've gotten a little stronger and a little taller, but I haven't changed one bit.
And we're back. I hope you enjoyed that. I did. I thought that was pretty interesting. I mean, it's kind of a short book. There's not a ton of information in it. But it's, uh, it, it was really a nice little read. I really enjoyed it. Learned a lot about LeBron James. Now, one of the things I wanted to point out about nonfiction, since it's got real information in it, you always want to check and see when that book was written. Because right now, we're in the year 2020. So you can go to this page right here, the copyright page, and you can find out when this book was written. Now, I see here that this book was written in 2011, so it's nine years old. So some of the information in this book will not be as accurate as it could be. Like if they give us some information, I know one of the things I was thinking about, and this one is not you know, terribly important, but it's something that I was kind of paying attention to. Right here they show a picture of LeBron James with James Jr., right? Now this book was written in, two, what did I say, 2011, 2011, so that's nine years ago. So this picture of his son, um, he's maybe like five years old in this picture. So of course, 11 years has passed since then. So he's much older now, and you might, if when you're reading this book, since it's nonfiction, if you don't realize when the book was written, you might just think that LeBron James has like a, a small child, but he's much older now, probably 17 or so. Also, st some of the statistics that you'll find, this is a basketball book. So it says, on this page, it says LeBron dunks the ball in an NBA All-Star game. He won the title of All-Star MVP in 2006 and 2008. So that sounds like, oh, two times. But there's been a lot of basketball since 2008, and then since this book was written, nine more years. So LeBron James has had other things happen in basketball that wouldn't be included in this book. So that's why we always have to kind of update our nonfiction. But that doesn't mean that the information in this book is no longer any good. The things that happened in this book actually occurred. It's just that there's more to the story if we go nine years later. So we always want to make sure we pay attention to that when we're reading nonfiction. Well, I hope you had a great time with me today. Hope you enjoyed learning about a little bit about LeBron James and maybe just something about nonfiction in general. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. Make sure you visit, stop on by, spend some time with me, check out the book that we have for you tomorrow. Have a great day.